This is the menu right here. Let me give you a quick example. Let's say I want to test that my speakers, both of them are working properly. As you know, most Samsung phones have two speakers on the top and the bottom. So when I tap this button, the both of the lights are gonna light up, up and down. So it's gonna play a music. It's doing a test. Now let's test the bottom speaker individually. It's pointing downwards. This speaker is working. And let's uh, test the top one. All right, so let's dive in, see how to activate this menu, see all the secrets hidden inside. And wait till you see this menu right here. A lot of stuff is going on over here. Let's dive in. Hey guys, Soccer from Soccer Ticket. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys a top secret menu for all Samsung smartphones that you have probably never seen before. Now, some of you guys may have seen it because you might be a genius, but there's a lot of people that have not seen it. So let's dive in and see what I'm talking about. So to activate this top secret menu, what you have to do is you have to launch your phone application. Once you're in the phone application, what you do is you tap star pound zero star pound. Boom, you get a brand new menu. When you get the menu for the first time, the brightness is gonna maximize, so make sure your eyes don't blow out. Now, inside this secret menu, you have a bunch of options that allows you to test your phone and to make sure that it's working properly. For example, you can go in here to your sensors, and it's gonna give you a breakdown of all your sensors, and you can go in and you can do individual tests for all these sensors accelerometer, barometer, the gyroscope, the magnetic sensors, and of course the fingerprint test. For example, if I wanna test a fingerprint, I tap the normal scan, and it's just gonna run the test, and it's gonna give me a quick answer in a little bit. This way, you can make sure that your phone has no trouble. Sometimes I get messages from people uh, saying something is wrong with, my, with the color of my screen, my fingerprint is not working properly. This will give you the details of every single thing. So in this case, as you can see, all the tests have passed, all right? Now if I go back here, uh, let's say you wanna make sure that your uh, screen is properly calibrated. All you do is tap on the red button, okay? You should be seeing a bright red. Now in the, now in the video, it looks a little vague, but it's in, in real life, this is looking like super bright red, so that's good. You tap the screen, you can do the green, okay? Again, th this looks super green to me. On the screen, it looks a little bit different. And if I go back, I can tap on blue, and the blue looks perfect, all right? Again, on the screen, it's gonna look a little different, but you will, if you do it yourself, you'll see it perfectly fine. You can even check the black. So if I, it should look like darkness, okay? Now, after you press black, you do have to press the power button to go back. If you wanna exit the menu, you just double tap this twice, okay? Sometimes it works with one tap, but sometimes you may have to press, uh, press it twice, okay? So one doesn't work, double tap to exit, all right? Just so you don't get stuck in it. Uh, okay, so let's look at the other things. Here we have the front cam test. So if I launch this one, uh, it's going to allow me to test the camera, so I'm going to take a photo. So it's running it, its uh, tests right now. It's trying to focus, so it did focus. That means it's perfectly fine. You can even do the test on the time of flight camera that's in the back of this particular Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra, but some phones don't have the time of flight sensor. You may not see that option. If you go to vibration, it's going to check your vibration. The phone's going to start to vibrate, so that... That means it's working perfectly fine, all right? It's not gonna give you a pass, you just tap on it to go back, everything is good to go as long as the phone is vibrating. You can uh, uh, play with your touch sensors. So here, look at that. So once you draw the whole thing, it's gonna pass it, okay? That means there's nothing wrong with the actual screen. Now there seems to be something interesting here. It's known as the grip sensor. So basically if I tap on the grip sensor, uh, then I, what I do is I grab the phone and just grip it. And it says it's working. So the phone is able to uh, guess when you're gripping the phone. Okay, so that's not bad at all. I put it down. 
and just go back. So when you grip the phone, it says working. That's something I did not know that the phone actually had built into it. Maybe Samsung can in the future build a feature around gripping the phone. Shout out for this video goes to Follow Fell on Twitter. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. If you guys have any tips to share, send me a DM on Twitter. I'll make a video and you'll get a shout out. All right, guys, for now, have a fantastic day, all right? All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.